Hello, lovely people. So I did a poll asking, should I try Cinnamon Toast Crunch or Lucky Charms for the first time? Serial man asking, of course. Uh, pretty even with a slight edge to Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Uh, was curious to see what people thought, but I have to confess to you, uh, sadly, the results wouldn't have mattered. The actual cereal was already pre-chosen. I know. Life is not fair. That's, that is what it is. And, you know, the cereal that I will be eating today is actually both. Look at that. i never seen that before. Like a double, let me put it in English mix, limited edition, actually both of them right there, which is crazy. And initially I didn't want to buy this because I already have a couple of other cereals and I'm like, that's too much cereal, I need to do those first, you know. So I didn't buy it. And the next time I was at the grocery store, all sold out. Not a single one left. So I'm like, okay, so this was the sign that I shouldn't have bought it. And a few days later I went to another small grocery store and they had it at like half the price almost. And I'm like, okay, well this is the sign that I should buy it. And I did. So, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I have tried the churros version, the chocolate one, well, very nice. And now this mixed with Lucky Charms. Crazy stuff. Very cool stuff. So actually, let's do a bag, a bag check, because we never do those. This is a special occasion, so what does it look like? It looks like a mishmash of stuff. It looks like there's way more uh, Lucky Charm than Cinnamon Toast Crunch, to be fair. Maybe it's a little too glossy, but there's like, I would say like a 70% to 30 ratio of Lucky Charms versus Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It smells like a mix of the two. I have no idea. I've never really smelled either one of them. So Cinnamon Toast uh, Crunch should be awesome. Uh, growing up, I didn't really care for like the Lucky Charms because like these kind of little uh, marshmallows never really were my thing. It's more like chalk sugar chemical-ish for me. And for them to taste good, I, they have to be in the milk for a while so they actually become kind of mushy. But then the rest of the cereal becomes kind of mushy as well. Truly. A first world problem, right? Okay. Should be good. Now, some of you may be saying, well, if you're trying it for the first time, having a mix, you're not going to get the full experience of either. And, you know, the full actual taste to see which one you would prefer if you did it separately. And you're probably right that the box is so cool though. Look at that. All right. It's not nice though. All right, let me, let me try actually to get just some of the cinnamon toast crunches to get an actual or as close as possible. Uh, get in there you, get out of there you. I'm gonna manually, there you go. A little bit more of this, a little bit more of that. It has a little bit of a marshmallow dust, but it should be pretty as good. Reminiscent a bit of the churros version, but that is good. That is good. All right, this is the Lucky Charms Bite with two, a blue and a purple thing. Not bad, actually. These remind me of honeycombs, if you've ever had them. Yeah, they do. They remind me of honeycombs. They're like tiny honeycombs, which was one of the cereals we used to eat growing up. 
and then uh, you have these things that are fine, I guess, on it. It's like sugary styrofoam. I feel like it should not exist, basically. But it's not horrible, even though it really sounds like it is the way I'm talking about it. It should not exist, but it's not horrible. You know, don't call them marshmallows. Maybe, maybe that's one of my problems. Don't call them marshmallows. A marshmallow should be gooey and chewy and gooey. All right, mix. I would just mix it because that's what it's supposed to be. The mix works. These babies, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, are doing the work. They complement the other cereal really well. You could take out the uh, colorful bits. It will be just as good. Because they bring like the sugary, sweetness, cinnamony thing. That's just me though. A great time for that truck to be there. Sweet ASMR truck noises. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. The mix works though. Truck is gone. They come in. They're like, oh, you're done? Let me. Sure, make a new noise. There you go. Mm -hmm. The mix is nice. And I can tell you, I could buy Cinnamon Toast Crunch, put it in the regular cereal rotation. So I'm glad it's a mixed, uh, it's a mixed uh, box because I wouldn't buy just Lucky Charms for the sake of it and I'd be stuck with a Lucky Charms box, which I would enjoy minimally. But you know, if I had to go and buy one again, I, I wouldn't. I, I stick with this one. Sorry to the diehard fans. What is that? Sounds like, like 18th century machinery make whatever products an old machine dun, 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 and someone has to like turn I don't know what they're doing up there
I think it's our last marshmallow. One thing I'll say, it's still nice. At this point, the, uh, the cereal is a bit, getting a bit soggy. But from I remember, the churros Cinnamon Toast Crunch version, being like cylinder and thicker, we think they're crunched longer. And taste is pretty similar. Just give them my cereal expertise. The milk has that cinnamon toast, crunchy goodness, flavor thingy. Oh yeah, that's good. Quite nice. So there you go. Collab, collaboration cereal. Solid product overall. I personally, of course, prefer this one. Together, they go nicely. If you're a fan of both, great job. And if you're not that much of a fan of this one, like I said, it's a solid mix. And if you don't like this one, I don't know what's wrong with you. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed. I shall see you uh, next time. Different food. That's, that's kind of the thing. Today's a horrible day, but it's supposed to be good. In a couple of days, so I'll try to film more outside and uh, yeah, bye.